Hey everyone, it's Al again. Back in Arizona. Just taking a tour again. Show you what happened over the summer. Just got back on uh, Thursday. Today's Tuesday. Came across six states. Every state is different with this coronary virus. Went all the way across Missouri, didn't even stop. Got into Oklahoma and they don't believe in anything there. It's wide open. People don't wear masks. Then we went into Texas. It's worse than Oklahoma. No masks. We went, we went by a Cracker Barrel and Chili's passing through. Looked down, the parking lots were jam-packed full. Couldn't believe it. I mean, unbelievable well here's the here's what the javelinas yep the javelinas they like agave for those of you who don't know what a javelina is it's j-a-v-e-l-i-n-a -E javelina they're a herbivore and they love prickly pear and they love agave so I think they went to chewing on this and maybe the maybe the grubs got to it too. I'm not sure. But I got some work to do to get that back in shape. I try to dig that thing up. But as you can see, I have some some babies coming from it, so I'm not going to miss that, I don't think. A lot of a lot of trimming to do. My butterfly bush is practically out of control. This bush here needs a haircut. Worked all day yesterday getting the patio back in order. Couldn't believe how many leaves have fallen off that tree. Or these couple of trees, I guess. So we're just about done with all the leaves falling, so I had to go over to Paul's and borrow his battery powered leaf blower because I couldn't get my gas one started. I guess I'm gonna get a battery powered one. Well, here's what the here's what the javelinas do to the prickly pear. They just gobble up these petals, knock them off and chew what they want, leave the rest. These little red things I found out the blooms are edible and uh, so I guess maybe I'll try to make some prickly pear dessert I don't know how that's going to work so anyway we had a good trip out here it's about uh, supposed to be 70 this week oh here's the battery powered Ryobi super duper blower I borrowed from him. It's got plenty of power and that's what I like, power. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we're we're up to. We're just trying to get everything in order here. Yeah, I'm a TV back up on the stand and Maybe I'm probably going to watch the U of I today, see how they do. Oh, here's another agave that bit the dust. As you can see, it looks like it's uh, seen its better days. So that, that thing has to be chopped out of there. I don't know what I'll put back. But anyway, I've got my work cut out for me. For the next week or so I uh, we're gonna lay low here for a week or so just in case people think we might be infected so we're not gonna do anything but Arizona is one of the worst states right now it's wide open again I don't know I think they've got the restricted capacity in the restaurants but you can eat in you can uh, do whatever you want. I mean, you don't have, there's no restrictions. I did see yesterday when we went downtown, uh, everybody was wearing a mask, which is good. 
Uh, but it looked like Christmas holidays down there. I've never seen so many cars in the parking lot at Target and Lowe's and Home Depot. It was so crowded we couldn't even hardly find parking places. So maybe that's why it's so bad here in Arizona. People, people are just going every which way thinking, well, I'm tired of this, so I'm just going to go out anyway. Well, I hope... I hope this gets over. I hope I'm gonna get we're gonna get our vaccines here before long, and uh, maybe we can get through this. So I am here, and I am the gardener, Alfonso, the gardener. So that's all for now. We'll uh, we'll keep you informed. Bye for now.